Good morning, everyone. Okay, I don't have time at the moment to shoot uh, videos with music background and, and everything that I used to, but I still want to give you some tips and advice. This is Hamza Zawali from NameYourCareer.com, and I'm a career coach, I'm a business coach, and today I'd like to uh, tell you a story, a very, very short story on how someone that didn't have any uh, replies from recruiters, from employers, in one week completely turned around her luck. One week only. What did she do? Well, this is one of my clients. She said to me, look, Hamza, nothing at the moment. I don't know. Maybe the market is sleeping. I don't know what's going on. And I said, hey, um, have you done some follow-ups? And she said, no, I mean, I, I mean, I sent one email or two, but I haven't done really any phone call, if that's what you mean. I said, why don't you do any phone calls? She said, I don't know. It's just not me. I don't, I don't know. And I said, okay, so suppose that this is your last week in the country. Suppose that you have to go back home. Suppose that, um, you know, this is it. This is it for you. Uh, what would you do differently? And she said, well, for sure I would call them. I would try and meet as many people as I can because that's my last week. And I said, well, you see, this is the difference. This is the difference when you don't have the time pressure, when you don't have anything to be afraid of you the only thing that you're afraid of is uh, you know a an imaginary scenario that if you call them they will be upset at you and they will disqualify your application etc etc you don't want to fall into this trap you always want to think hang on if this was my last week what would i do differently and give them a call give them a call find out and tell them hey this is my last week if it's true or or just tell them hey i just wanted to um uh, uh, have some feedback on my application i have other things going on um where are you at with the recruitment process for the so and so role and they will tell you you, you know if if they need an extra week they will tell you um just do call, do act upon your application. Most people by default, they just send the application and if they haven't heard for the past three months, well, they assume that nothing happened. No, imagine this was your last week in the country. This is a powerful exercise because within four days, four days, less than a week, she started having some interviews because she said, she even used this, although it wasn't true, she even said, listen, I think, so she didn't lie, she said, I think this is going to be my last week in the country. So just wanted to see if there is any interview. I'm here right now uh, for the next uh, few days. Uh, oh, oh, okay. L let us, um, let me get back to you. Let me speak to the line manager. And of course, they would look at the CV. They would look at the CV. It's fine. It's fitting the role, etc., etc. And guess what? She started having interviews after only four days of using this trick. I wanted to share it with you. Just don't relax. Don't, it's not because you have time and you're not in a rush, etc., etc., that you should relax. It's very, very important that you actually follow up, that you actually actively follow up. You know, start with a few emails. If there's no responses on the emails, pick up the phone, speak to them. Speak to them, say, hey, I haven't had any responses. I'm worried that my emails are going to your spam folder. Um, this is actually my last week, so I was thinking, the best, um, uh, you know, to be fair with you, I'd rather let you know because if there is a face-to-face -face interview, it's better that it happens face-to-face -face or then over Skype while I'm away. Um, is there any, um, did you have a chance to review my profile, etc., etc.? Do use it. Don't be afraid. You, you know, fear is a future imaginary scenario. It doesn't exist. It's just something that we invent in our head. It's just something that we create. It doesn't exist. So when you're afraid that you're going to get disqualified if you dare calling and find out what happened with your application, it doesn't happen. I've worked and I'm still working with employers. I am an employer. I work with HR. I've been working with HR for 13 years across so many countries. So I've never heard a HR person say, what? You follow up on your application? We're going to disqualify you immediately. How dare you? It doesn't work. It's just a fear of doing it that paralyzes you. So replace this fear by a bigger fear. So replace this tiny fear that perhaps you might be disqualified, you want, by a bigger fear like, oh, what if this was my last week? What would I do differently? I would try and meet as many people as I can because that's my last chance to get an offer while I'm away. So I hope this has been helpful for more videos like this. Just go to nameyourcareer.com, go to my Facebook page, Name Your Career. And let me know if this is okay with, in terms of video because I'm having less and less time to actually um, shoot videos and edit them with music, etc., etc. I know it's nicer, but is this format okay with you? Please do let me know. 
Also, if you ask me questions, I will try my best to shoot a video and answer these questions. So I, I can't wait to have you on my Facebook page or commenting on this video and actually ask me another question. Let me know what you think. And that was Hamza Zawali from www.nameyourcareer.com. You can also go to my Facebook page, Nemi Career. Bye for now. Bye-bye.